Hello everyone, it's me Vanessa and Bart. We are outside today because it is super hot and uh, really warm and it's perfect to be outside and honestly my studio is like super super stuffy so I just decided I would come out here and spend some quality time with Bart and uh, talk to you guys so let's get started. I don't think I haven't I haven't added to him at all since the last video. So that's what's happening. Again, we are outside. So um, there's gonna be maybe weird noises. I don't know. Might hear some birds or something. So that's just just because we're outside. We're having fun and painting. I shouldn't be bothered. The dog is inside, so should be fine. But anyways, yeah. So. I'm gonna start painting here. I see some touch-ups. The sunlight has really brought out some some flaws that I've noticed. Not in myself. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna touch up on those. The sunshine versus the studio because my studio doesn't have a lot of natural lighting in it which is irritating but hey what can you do? So um, bringing him out into the natural lighting is really really good. It helps me see little touch-ups I need to make and see some greater details and so that's really good and I like painting outside it's very therapeutic my only thing is that it's a little bit windy so I don't know I hope he doesn't get blown but it, it should be okay he should be fine I'm just I'm just talking talking away but anyway so doing touch-ups just some quick ones that I see I'm gonna be doing more of his pattern and uh, I'm thinking about what I want to do for the border. I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but I'm still developing it because I'm extremely indecisive. Uh, but I need to get them done fairly quick. So that is what I am up to. I personally love the outdoors and I love painting outdoors. Uh, and I'm, I'm a person I never have had allergies. It's never been a problem for me at all in my lifetime. And um, for some reason, last night and today, I started, I don't know, my nose has been running and my eyes have been watering. I don't know if like something just bloomed. Ooh. That was a lot, that was too much. Dang it. Anyways, I don't know if like some weird plant just bloomed or something, but it has really got me all worked up and I don't know what to do. My brother gets allergies really bad and he's been struggling, but now we've kind of been struggling together, so. I was uh, painting some of my art journals earlier and I went to go guys and then my nose started running and I went to go clean up my mess and I accidentally used this kind of you know what that had paint all over and so you know I got yellow all over my nose and yeah it was just it was great it was really great so I guess uh, artist artist problems <laughs> artist and allergy problems so that that's just great so hopefully I don't do that again in this video I'm outside so I might sneeze or something but it seems like I've been getting better but I, I have no idea it's been a new new experience speaking of new experiences I've also been starting running so I've never in in like middle school and high school I used to always run uh, the mile times and I and I always had like a really really good time I was one of the girls that actually ran it and lots of other girls did too but I ran it and I was like super serious about it and I had really good mile times um, but it's been it's been probably like five years since I have ever ran a mile much less a mile and a half uh, so I did I've been working on that and uh, I, I'm terrible so I'm having to completely retrain and um, get get it to where I have a good time and I can actually run the whole thing. Like, it's super humbling. I was like, oh yeah, I'm a I'm a fit person. No, not not really, not really. So trying to get that back, trying new workouts, um, all kinds of stuff. So there's new things happening. Today uh, is really hot right now, so I have to wait. I wanna I'm trying to run two times a day um so that means like i have to get up at five which is kind of crazy but it's, it's a good kind of crazy so 
yeah it's been any tips on like running of any kind even long distance I wouldn't mind getting more long distance running in again I'm extremely I'm an amateur at pretty much everything and so I'm totally open for tips tricks comments whatever that can help because I desperately desperately need some assistance so hopefully as this progresses I'll have better times and I'll be like oh yeah guys I can totally I am such a great runner I can run like no tomorrow but we shall see my brother's doing it with me so that's that's really nice it's, it's nice to have a running partner he's a lot faster than me though like he can run the whole time he's much more physically fit um, and uh, so he just he kicks my butt and lets me know about it definitely so that's been quite humbling quite humbling but nothing nothing I can't handle and uh, I mentioned my art journal earlier and so it's almost done I think I have like 10 pages left in it so I think once that is done I'm gonna do an art journal flip through or maybe mm, maybe before that I'll also add my art journal pages do like what my process is and stuff um, and post a video of that because I think a lot of you guys would really like that I know most people follow me on my Instagram for my art journaling um, so it's I mean it's just I feel kind of weird because I really don't want to do a tutorial because I just I guess it won't be a tutorial it'll just like show my process because again I think art is a, an extremely like personal thing and you can do whatever you want um, I always think when I think of tutorials when I think of Bob Ross and, and, and like I think of people you're trying to replicate exactly what someone else is doing and I really just don't want my art to to be like that I want my art to inspire people to try their own type of art or you know inspire them in some way because I really like it when people find their own type of thing like it's very flattering some people will see my art journal posts and they will replicate them and send them to me which is awesome I love it when people do that but I also like seeing um, people's unique work like what did your own mind come up with what did your mind feel like it needed to get out you know so um, I, I really like that so I just want to make some videos of just like yeah my own rendition kind of what I do um, but I want I want people to ultimately find their own path because my stuff is again I'll do it a certain way sometimes I'll make a collage sometimes I will use watercolor sometimes I will use acrylics I have been in a big acrylics mood for the last couple weeks but you know that can always change like for I think two months I ate nothing basically but avocado toast nothing but avocado toast like that's all I wanted now it's like eh, I really don't feel like having any avocados I would much rather have um, <laughs> eggs benedict like that is all I've been eating I have it practically every day it was a recipe that I really really struggled with at first the first time I tried to make eggs benedict was an absolute disaster there's like a, a ladybug larvae I think crawling on on my He's checking out my rooster right here. It's super tiny, like I couldn't even bring it up to the camera. But I'm just gonna let him check it out. Because I don't want to squish him, but you know, I'm gonna let him do his thing. But anyways, it's, it's super cool. But, um, so it's basically about the eggs benedict and avocado toast is I'm very much a moody, changing kind of person. I will do something a lot for a month solid, a year solid, and then I'll just quit it. I will just be done with it and move on to something else. Uh, that's just that's just my personality type. So for right now, I will definitely try and make an art journal of with my acrylics. Again, I'm making an acrylic rooster right now, uh, but I'm just I, I will update I guess my videos on my new developing styles. I was I've mentioned before that I was a largely watercolor based person for years and then all of a sudden I tried acrylics and it was just like a whole new world opened up to me I couldn't believe I was like not an acrylic person um 
So I definitely want to keep exploring acrylics, but it, that's also made me like wonder, okay, well, what are oil paints like? What is chalk like? What is, you know, all kinds of other art techniques uh, that I can try? I don't know if I would do chalk. That wouldn't really work well with my art journals, which is what I do almost, like, I make an art journal almost every day, typically. That's what I try to do. But, um, anyway, so. My brother texted me. What did he say? Oh. We're doing a Lost marathon. Like, we've been re-watching Lost. Someone's calling me. I don't know you. Leave a message. Anyways, um, and so he wants me to go in and watch with him, even though it's like, it's 119, but he works graveyard. So, he doesn't, he has to go to bed soon. Not. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty. I just, it's beautiful outside. I want to be outside. I want to paint. I have other work that I need to do. I have stuff and I don't want to watch Lost. I watch mainly Lost, Bones, Jane the Virgin. What else? What else am I? Have? Oh, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Those are my main shows right now. Like, I, I'm always watching some kind of police show. I've been a big NCIS fan for like a really long time. X-Files. Any and all kind of cop shows, basically. I, I will watch most of the time. Those are my, I'm a sucker for those. I used to watch The Flash, but I'm not really interested in that anymore. But. Those are my shows. Just a little bit about me. I feel like the shows people watch a lot about them and how much like that you binge um, and rewatch too. Because I could rewatch the X Files until the end of days because I just love it so so much. Um, same thing with Bones. Same thing with NCIS. Uh, a lot of them like I like the older ones versus the newer ones. Friends is another one. Love Friends. You gotta make sure you clap always in the intro or are you even really watching friends if you don't so a little bit about me and uh yeah you can see i just put way too much green like i'm not even gonna use it that is so frustrating i'm gonna have to make something green because i hate wasting paint don't try and waste paint even if you have cheap paint like just don't waste it don't waste don't waste anything this has been public service announcement announcement redoing this flower here these flowers are going to be much more detailed like we just we have a lot of roughness right now everything is just rough in my life and no. life is actually pretty darn good so that is awesome there's that i don't think i think i'm gonna make them each a different color. I don't want to have repetitive colors just because the flowers are so unique. So I'm gonna make an orangey. Probably still too much paint. I can never ratio my paint correctly. It's it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I should have cleaned this brush better, but it's not it's not bad. I just I didn't do it because I'm I'm just being like that right now. But yeah, oh, it feels so good outside. It's supposed to be like 105 or something Fahrenheit. <laughs> and uh, that's it's a big shock. But so far it's feeling really good. We have a breeze, which isn't interrupting with my painting actually, which is really great. I hope I didn't just jinx that. I really hope not. Anyways, there's that. An orange flower. I don't, uh, we'll probably keep them like that. I don't know if I want a purple one. I think purple would really fit with this kind of aesthetic. I really, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, ah! That was a stick. That was terrifying. Anyway, well, anyway, so, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be pretty much done for now. Just a quick little update. And, um, I will see you guys next time. Bye!